Hello, today I want to talk with you about nested instances. And this is very, very, very important thing that will keep your time, keep your energy and will give you less stress working in a Figma. This is something that people not usually doing and I saw that many times when I went to designers projects and I saw that they just forgot about that and they are forcing themselves to click a lot of times to make a lot of clicks they don't really need to do. So let me quickly explain you the problem here. For example, I have a two instance swaps. First is for the icon that I can change it by using on the by clicking on the icon multiple times. For example, I want to change these icons using the instance swap from here, from that master component. So if I want to change the icon here, because if I'm clicking on this child component, which means the child component from here, I will just change the content using the instance swap. But I have another property instance swap inside the component. I need to like click on it a couple of times and then I will find it here, instance swap. So this is something that is very difficult to do every time, especially when you need to do it quickly. And you need to do it for a different multiply components it might be different 10 or like 12 components to avoid that situation we can use this amazing property that calls nested instance once you added this nested instance you can add the property that you want to see on the surface without double or triple clicking on the element and this is how it works just click this checkbox icon and go to this child component as you may see here now I can not only change the icon position, but I can also change the network, which means I can also change the icon. And this instant swap will be available without triple clicking on this element. So this nested instance property helping a lot in that situation. So if you have a lot of different components inside the components, inside the components, and you have a lot of properties for specific components for each of these components you have a different properties and you don't want to triple click every time on this element to use and to reach this property all you need to do just add this beautiful nested instance thanks all for watching that video i hope that was at least useful for you if you have more questions go to the comment section subscribe to my channel hit like button and all useful links as always in the descriptions